Hi everyone, welcome to A World of Colour with Prism, the brand new range from Hunky Dory Crafts. Today I'm just going to show you a few little techniques and things you can actually do with your alcohol markers that isn't just colouring in pictures. So we're going to use our pens uh, in a few different ways. First of all, I thought I'd show you how we can use them to do uh, colour matching. So for matting and layering, um, what I would tend to do with this image is I'd maybe pick out one of the, the colours in here and match that up to a piece of cardstock and mat and layer with it. So obviously because some of these pens have got so many different colours, we've got 84 colours available altogether, you might not get that, that right shade of pink that you want out of the roses. So we can use our pens and make our own mat and layers. So just with my cardstock, so I've cut some ink green cardstock to just slightly bigger than my image. I'm just going to pop it onto a bit of scrap card. I'm going to take the chisel tip and I'm just going to use that just to get it sort of all prime and edge our card all four sides so this means that you know with any white card that you've got at home you can colour match to your images every single time so just running along the very edges the same on this side and then you can also run around the very side. So obviously because it's white, if this was a darker shade, you'd still be able to see the white. So you can just run along all four sides like that as well. And then what that will do, done that side, is it will give you that perfect matte and layer. I can pick that up totally coordinating with the right shade of pink that we picked out from those teeny tiny little flowers on there but it is the absolute perfect shade so it's perfect for doing that also colour tinting our ribbon now this one is a particular favourite of mine and um, this is just some uh, organza and um, double face satin ribbon that is just cream you can use white and um, you don't want to use anything that's too dark because your colour might not show through and then we're just going to add our colour onto the ribbon. So again, just working onto a piece of scrap card, you can completely colour your ribbon in. You can, of course, blend on here as well. So I'm just going to turn it over, make sure I've got both sides. And um, we can leave that to dry, and obviously we can use that then on our card um, to make bows or little. Uh, wraps around but blending as well so just taking two other shades so this one um, we've got 484 uh, which is our lilac and our 559 which is thistle and I'm going to go with our lilac first of all because it's our paler shade and that on there and then just taking our thistle and just sort of bringing that the other end of there so just add the colour on there and then just go back to our paler shade and just blend the centre there where they meet. But it just looks so cool. It just gives you, again, a perfectly coordinating ribbon, um, particularly this one. So obviously we've got our matte and layer, we've got our image, we can then add our ribbon as well, we can tie that into a bow. But what it does, it actually, can you see how it's, it's almost like stiff, stiffened the ribbon up? So it makes it much easier to actually work with. So if you struggle with tiny bows and things like that, it actually makes it a little bit easier to work with, which is like a little bit of an added bonus. Um, we can also use it to colour tint our gemstones. So these ones are Aurora Borealis ones. You can use um, just the crystal ones as well. It's entirely up to you. Uh, with this technique though, you do need to be using some of the darker shades so your pastel sort of colour pens won't show necessarily as well. So again, a little bit of trial and error. This one is 460, which is our teal. And I'm just going to use, uh, you can use either end, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to use the bullet tip for this one. I'm just going to colour in all around that gemstone and you can sort of see the ink almost dripping down the sides of our gemstone there. It's so cool but it will completely colour your gemstone. And this one I'll just show you with the chisel tip because it is exactly the same technique. So just making sure you get around all the little facets on there. So that one is um, one of our pinks, that's our hot pink. And then we've got one of our really darker purple shades here as well. 
which looks super dark. But when you actually get that on the gemstone, it's quite pale. So again, just a little bit of trial and error. Just make sure you've tested it before you actually um, commit to it. Obviously, you can colour over them, so it doesn't really matter too much. Just try not to do this on your work. Do them on your carry sheet and then transfer them over. Now, the black um, is really nice because that does completely cover your gemstone. So it gives it a complete coverage on there. So have a little bit of a try and see which colours work best and maybe just keep a note of them so you know for future which ones are definitely going to look fabulous. But just another couple of ways that you can use your prism pens other than just colouring your images in, they are pretty fabulous. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed that video. Please check out our website for more tips and techniques.